If we clear out the lines, the most mesmerizing star I recognize is the star that could dumbfound our sky. It is this one scarab juice or scarab pulverize. It's a red, very monstrous star. Furthermore, on the vague possibility that you put it where the sun is, it would stretch out to the orbit of Jupiter. It's huge, completely unpredictable, and going to explode. It's not as clear as it appears to be in the universe. These Goliath events, like the most feared gigantic starbursts, could shake all that we see. In addition, regardless, do whatever it takes not to see, its middle Betelgeuse has been seen as a sign a red, extremely massive star that is normally more significant than our sun. Brian Cox and other space specialists think it could go supernova, which has made people frightened about what will occur next. The James Webb Space Telescope is taking shocking photographs of the star, raising the question of when Betelgeuse will turn into a supernova and what titanic impact it will have on Earth. Let's sort out the star in the magnificent body of Orion, which shines so brilliantly that even individuals from long ago have seen it. The magnificent star Betelgeuse is situated on the eastern shoulder of the constellation Orion. It is the second largest star in the star grouping, and its name comes from this feature, the monster's shoulder. It is potentially one of the most brilliant stars in the night sky. On top of being extremely bright, the star is also an odd shade of red, which as we will see suggests trouble. We've had some tremendous experience with Betelgeuse for quite a while. A Greek observer named TMY also focused on it around that time. The primary thing people perceived about stars was their color and TMY said that it was a toadstool colored orange. In modern times, specialists have been focusing on the star more eagerly and now have a brilliant idea of what makes it so curiously bright. One of these qualities is that the star changes brightness a great deal. With a clear magnitude of 0.6 Betelgeuse is a variable star which means that its brightness changes over time. Recently specialists have found some new information about the star. In 2019, they first saw that Betelgeuse was acting unconventionally. Even though it didn't completely stop shining, it wasn't the same, it had become considerably less bright shining at a level of 1.6. Specialists quickly began to investigate why they were seeing the tenth most brilliant star behave in this capricious manner. Researchers expected to offer an astounding explanation in light of their research which uncovered unusual signs from the star. According to their discoveries, Betelgeuse could go supernova at any moment. Brian Cox, a famous scientist, shared the surprisingly dangerous explanation. As a distinguished professor of particle physics at the University of Manchester School of Physics and Cosmology, you shouldn't dismiss his point of view as a joke. He also has a science show writes popular science books and is the Royal Society Professor for Public Engagement with Science. Brian Cox says that Betelgeuse is by all appearances a ticking delayed bomb because it could go off without warning. To understand what is happening, the James Webb Space Telescope has shown an epic amount of evidence to back up this explanation. With the new information about Betelgeuse, the star has been named a supernova candidate. Despite the fact that analysts are still unsure when it will explode, the fact that Betelgeuse is twice the mass of the Sun is one explanation for this classification. A star, as it's been said, ought to be a few times the mass of the Sun to be known as a supernova. Things get really interesting, however, because analysts have used different instruments to research Betelgeuse, such as the James Webb Space Telescope and the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, to see what's happening in space around the star. What they found is still a mystery. It was born on August 31st, a long time ago. Around that time, the star Betelgeuse clearly offered odd hints that made its future uncertain. What did they find? Well, they could detect curious light waves coming from the star, which is very curious. However, it wasn't the only thing experts observed. This takes us back to the likelihood that Betelgeuse is a star whose brightness changes now and then. It was said that the alarming Betelgeuse darkened down at regular intervals and had dark spots much like our sun today. However, the circumstances are different, it changes from bright to dim twice as fast as it used to, which is another indicator it has returned to an amazing sign. Betelgeuse specialists found the star's dimming cycle had hit a band of quality of 1.61 in February 2021. This was not long after the gigantic darkening event. Review how the star appeared to fade in a bizarre manner in 2019, that's because it's now known as the extraordinary darkening. We could see that the incredible darkening was the start of Betelgeuse's unusual behavior, which made many people worry that Betelgeuse was going to explode. The range of darkening was 1.2 somewhere between 2019 and 2020, and the most reduced degree of dimming ever recorded was in 2019. 
so specialists were certain that the terrible Betelgeuse would go supernova in the next 100,000 years in view of the extraordinary darkening. There is a fragment happening in the universe, so this is truly surprising. Analysts quickly changed their perspectives, however, when they saw what happened next. Betelgeuse got brighter again after the incredible dimming, and it changed into something far more striking. Astrophysicist Andrea Dupree at the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics says that the star is now 150% brighter than normal, making it the seventh most brilliant star. Above specialists were panicked when they saw a red glow in the southern part of the sky. Today, it still gets more interesting because this has led to different considerations about what caused the incredible darkening. First, it's important to note that not all stars have the red glow of Betelgeuse. The red glow of Betelgeuse means that it's a red supergiant star, which is the last phase of a star's life and death. The red glow, on the other hand, is caused by a surface temperature of around 3,500 Kelvin, which is much cooler than the outer layer of the Sun, which is 5,500 Kelvin. Since Betelgeuse is cooler than our Sun, it emits less energy per unit of surface area. Nevertheless, it is more massive and will detonate. Nevertheless, it is more massive and will detonate. According to scientific models, stars like Betelgeuse end their lives in spectacular fashion, collapsing under their own gravity and erupting into a brilliant supernova. When that happens, it will release a shockwave of energy that will tear through space at incredible speeds. But here's where things get even more intriguing. If Betelgeuse does go supernova, it will be so bright that it could be visible even during the day shining as brightly as the moon for weeks. Imagine walking outside in broad daylight and seeing a second sun in the sky. That's the kind of celestial event we're talking about here. It would be the first time in modern human history that a supernova of this magnitude is visible from Earth with the naked eye. Well, the unusual dimming and subsequent brightening of Betelgeuse have revealed massive outbursts of material from the star's outer layers. This suggests that it's entering the final stages of its life. Observations from the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope have shown that a cloud of gas and dust was expelled from the star, partially obscuring its light from Earth. This event, essentially a surface explosion, suggests that internal processes within Betelgeuse are becoming increasingly unstable. These are often precursors to the gravitational collapse that leads to a supernova. Additionally, gravitational wave observatories like LIGO are now being used to monitor potential disturbances that may signal a star's impending death. Though nothing definitive has been detected, yet the tools are in place to give us advanced warning perhaps days or hours before Betelgeuse finally erupts. Still despite all of this, no one can say exactly when Betelgeuse will explode. It could be tomorrow, or it could be 100,000 years from now. That's part of what makes it so captivating and terrifying we're watching a ticking cosmic time bomb, but we don't know how much time is left on the clock. But even if it were to go supernova tomorrow, scientists say we don't need to panic. At around 640 light years away, Betelgeuse is far enough that the explosion won't harm life on Earth. What it will do is give astronomers an unprecedented chance to study a supernova in real time. When it happens, it will be a once in a lifetime cosmic event, a brilliant fiery death of a star that has fascinated humanity for thousands of years. 